angels welcome back to my channel on today's video as you guys can tell from the title I am going and I'm getting my first ever lip injections <laughs> I have my best friend with me to record and I'm so excited she's so excited and like nervous for me yeah I've never had anything done for any procedures other than like wisdom teeth and stuff like that but no cosmetic surgery so I'm really happy I have this really cool opportunity to work with the dermatologist in Tampa they're called academic Alliance in dermatology and there's several Turn left to merge onto I-75 South toward Tampa. There's several there's several different offices and locations in Tampa, but I'm going to one on Kennedy Boulevard. I'm gonna be working really close with a woman named Katie. So if you guys follow my Instagram accounts, I put out a poll the other day and I asked you guys to let me know any questions or anything that you want me to ask her for you guys in regards to dermatology, fillers, Botox, etc. And she's gonna answer all those questions for you guys. So we are on the way now and I just got my thumb here. She like asked me not to wear any face makeup today, so if I look a little different and crazy, that's why. I tried to like sneak on a little concealer. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Okay, I want you to tell them your thoughts on it. <laughs> Your honest I'm freaking thoughts. excited. <laughs> it's gonna look bomb. Do you have any like reservations or like no. any negative thoughts whatsoever? No. Okay, what is your biggest like nerve about it? Um, I don't know. The bruising makes me like, ugh, it makes me awkward. <laughs> but also, I'm like, my biggest fear if I got them done is like the shape. What if I didn't like the shape? Yeah. But then you just add more. <laughs> yeah, or like you can move it around, I think. Yeah. The reason I'm asking this is because I know I have a lot of subscribers and followers who are younger or maybe haven't gotten like anything done yet and you guys are asking me like what's the pain level, what's the cost and stuff like that so I'm gonna have her answer all of that but for me I think what I'm most nervous about um, it still hasn't hit me if I'm being honest like I think you could tell when it hits me like when I'm sitting there I'm like at the needle like F I hate needles but I think I'm most nervous for the needle and I think I'm most nervous for just not liking how it looks and it's on your face. So like, you know, like you gotta like, like it. So she's gonna do something gradual. I do wanna ask her for a full syringe so that I can like see it, but yeah. Let's go inside and meet her and see what this is about. I'm so nervous, what you like? So we just signed some paperwork guys and we're about to go in there i'm really nervous i feel so weird having like my freckles out but having the lashes on it looks good though i like the freckles yeah yeah mm -hmm. i mean i don't mind them freckles but usually i don't put on like brows and lashes if i go like with no makeup mm. i just put like a pop of you know highlighter right I had to do a little bit okay um yeah. aesthetic products her clinican is Hair restoration treatment, um, medical assistant area. This is a laser room. Miss Anne trained us in here this morning. It goes all the way around. We have a nose lab back here that has to do with skin cancer. Oh, wow. And we're going to be over here. Yay. This is really <sighs> I feel like I'm at the <laughs> dentist. Before. So my name is Katie Rayberg. I'm a physician assistant with Academic Alliance in Dermatology. I primarily practice in the Tarpon and Trinity locations. It's Tarpon Springs, Florida and Trinity, Florida up in Pinellas and Pasco County actually. We have 16 locations around Tampa Bay, so there are lots of options. We have physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and physicians that are all uh, doing injectables. I do come to the Kennedy location, which is here in South Tampa from time to time because I do live down here. So we are flexible in where we can practice. So that's kind of a nice thing. What we're going to do is we're going to evaluate your lip structure. Um, we're going to talk a little <laughs> bit about... You're a little nervous? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, what is my lip structure? Your lip structure and your lip anatomy. So um, we're going to bring balance to your face and to your lips. And there's actually portions that we look at, top lip to bottom lip. And fullness and enhancing your already perfect pout. Right? Aww. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to clean your lips and we're going to do a dental block today so that way we're going to have minimum discomfort and your lips are going to be numb 
for about an hour to two hours afterwards. Okay, that's okay. kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> it'll feel a little weird. After we do the dental block, then we'll get started with the injections. We're gonna be using a needle, and I think I'm gonna do a combination of a pillar technique and a Cupid's bow and arrow. It just, we're gonna kind of see how things go. We really just want to have a little bit of volume and we're gonna hydrate those lips. You're gonna feel like you don't have any of those little uh, wrinkles that you might see whenever you apply um, lipstick yeah. to it. And yeah, <laughs> so, lips are gonna be much more smoother and much more hydrated. You already have a very nice lip shape. We're just gonna enhance it. Just Okay, and so how much are you using? So I'm gonna use one cc. So I have one cc of Volbella. One cc cool. is one syringe. So when you look at the product, when you tick marks along it, it's 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, it's one syringe of filler. Okay. Okay? That's what we're gonna do. I'm so And nervous. then when you Only takes about 10 to 15 minutes, really, from start to finish. This is not a long procedure. The biggest risks are bruising and swelling. Okay, so guys, we had, I put out a poll, a questionnaire on my beauty Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, go and follow beauty.by.angelina and I'll of course put her socials at the end too for you guys to go and follow her. And I, I said, what do you guys want to know? What do you want me to ask this dermatologist I'm going to? And you guys put in some questions. We actually have, we got a lot, but we got a lot of, does it hurt? So what, that's probably the most common question, sure. right? Yeah, um, it's a little bit of discomfort. It's a little pinch. But Pain is beauty, right? Yeah, <laughs> beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. Yeah, so that's how it kind of goes. So a little pinch, it's not too bad. This person wants to know about baby Botox for prevention of wrinkles. Love that. Yeah, love it. Yes, that's baby Botox. Now that we're talking about is when you have smaller amounts of Botox dispersed throughout your forehead, in between your eyebrows and around your crow's feet. And it's really just to lessen the strength of your muscle. It is um, stopping the muscle from moving. When you're younger, in your early 20s, you may not want to have a forehead that's very frozen and stoic. You may want to have a little bit of movement, but that deadening of the muscle really helps to prevent those wrinkles in the future. What do you think of my wrinkles? So, I you, can, see you can see them, right? So that's one of those things that a little bit of Botox goes a long way. I actually, I started getting Botox when I was your age. Mm -hmm. When I was um, in PA school, I started getting Botox to that kind of time. I mean, and you're now I don't good. have wrinkles. Yeah, <laughs> it's super easy. That's even faster. That's like a minute. It's, yeah, it's so quick. And but will I be able to do this? No. <laughs> like a little bit. But not a lot. Yeah. Oh my god. Elias, <laughs> the up. Oh, she wants to know if it hurts. And usual price for that dermatologist. Fillers can range depending on the type of filler that we're using. The range is typically anywhere from $550 to $799 per syringe. When you start to get more than one syringe, is typically when that price per syringe will go down. Different areas of the country will actually charge more. So somebody in New York City or LA will actually be able to charge, um, have a higher price point than someone in maybe in a smaller town. Not that Tampa's small, but. Yeah, yeah. A smaller city, not a big, huge metropolitan city like that. The good thing is about fillers is it's not permanent. Volbella is FDA approved to last up to a year, and some of them will be six months to a year, some of them up to two years, but they're not permanent um, alterations in your face. Which one lasts the longest? You said this one is a, could be, you know, a year. A year. What about ones that last six months? Some of the products could be six months to a year when it comes to your lips. And reason being is because everybody is different on how they metabolize the product. And we don't know until we inject you, right? If you metabolize and break down this hyaluronic acid faster than somebody else, then it might only last six months. Also, if somebody talks a lot, that's another factor because you're breaking down the product <laughs> as you move, right? You see me next week. So <laughs> we'll see you next week and we'll be like, oh, where did it all go? So those are all kind of factors. And then one more question I can think of and then I know we can move on. I know there's controversy on whether or not you're supposed to move around the product after, or I guess on your own. What are your thoughts on that? So on your own, the patient should not move it product around. I don't I don't want you manipulating the product on where it was placed. There are other products that that require that manipulation, but not for the lips. The lips will settle at about two weeks. You want to try like not to sleep on your face. That's not a good thing. <laughs> and no drinking out of straws after for the day. Yeah, no drinking out of straws. That's correct. I have done some research. Okay. It sounds like you have. You're very well versed. You can tell me what to do. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Can <laughs> you do it without a needle? Uh, <laughs> no. How are you feeling? I'll be right back. I get so nervous. Like that's just how I am. I hate pain. I hate needles. But it is pain and so what she's gonna do is inject a numbing medication with the needle and then do the lips after. So I don't think I'm gonna feel the lip injections as much as I'm gonna feel the numbing. But I mean, lots of people do this, right? <laughs> We're just gonna do a dental block, okay? So we're gonna do a couple on the top and a couple on the bottom, and that way you won't feel anything when we do the actual injections. Okay, so that's a good thing, okay? okay? So we're gonna open your mouth just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Little tiny poke, poke. How's that? Not bad, not bad, yeah? Okay. You got the giggles now, here we go. And you're like, this is easy. What am I so concerned about? All right, here we go. One, two, three, tiny poke. Go. One, two, three, tiny poke. Feeling them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> weird, right? Really weird. Really strange. Uh -huh. One, two, three, tiny poke. So what I'm using are little um, Botox needles. Feeling them? It's like my teeth are numb. Like I don't even know. Look at them. One, two, three, little poke. <laughs> <laughs> I can't okay. tell my mouth's open or not. <laughs> it's closed right now. <laughs> it looks the same. Okay. This doesn't change the shape of your mouth. Just a just <laughs> Okay. And here we go, my dear. One, two, three. Tiny boat. It feels like it's still a little bit numb. You can definitely feel like that there's stuff in there. Um, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> Holy lips. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got lips, girl. I love it. It's so weird. Like I never thought I'd have lips. Do you know how different this feels? I don't have cracks. They look amazing. Guys, I am in love. Look, like, this is so surreal. Like, this is literally what I wanted. I'm so interested to see what it looks like when the information goes out. Yeah. I'm so happy with it. Girl, you're good. <laughs> I love it. So, pain was a big question. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst discomfort, what did you think? If you ever have a cold sore or a lip pimple that you pop or that, like, that has to heal on your lip. That's the kind of pinch that it is. So everybody knows this is a sensitive line, like they say not to pop those pimples, right? That's the kind of pinch because the nerves. I was more afraid of the, the pain than it actually hurt. My eyes didn't water, which I see that in a lot of YouTube videos, their eyes water. 
I'm talking so much it's gonna disappear. You're gonna have to do no. it. <laughs> Definitely more fear than it was actual feeling. I'm surprised. I actually was, I thought it was gonna be a lot more painful. Okay guys, so we just finished the appointment. These are my lips. As you guys can tell, I had no lips before, and now I do, and I'm so happy. I'm so excited to see how they settle. And I'm gonna come back in two weeks, right? Two weeks. And we're gonna check on it and yes. see if we need to like fix anything and how it's yes. settling. And I just wanna say thank you. Of Give me a hug. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It was I'm fun. So we had a great time. We did. Yeah. We really clicked, so I'm yes. excited. If you guys are located in the Tampa area or if you're coming around here anytime and you want something like this done, she does all the treatments we talked about and more. And I think you guys should totally follow her Instagram, follow the Academic Alliance and Dermatology Instagram and yeah check everything out DM her and I also have a discount code if you guys DM her let her know you watch this video and you get $50 off your treatment so you're welcome skincare with sunshine yeah oh yeah that's another one <laughs> <laughs> and follow her main Instagram which is skincare with sunshine I'm gonna put everything in the, in the description because my brain goes everywhere but make sure you guys go and follow her yeah follow her her page first thank you guys Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay guys, so I just got home. I went to one of my friend's houses and did her hair and it's currently 2.15 that I just got home. My appointment was at 9 a.m. and this is what my lips look like. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really swollen. They feel swollen. Like it wouldn't hurt me to take like an ibuprofen or a Tylenol. I'm not like freaking out by the the like volume of it because I've done like a bunch of research on this. This is supposed to happen today and tomorrow. They're gonna be huge. I think she didn't give me ice because you know I, I think it's like some people do, some people don't. I saw online a lot of people are like, make sure you get ice. But she said that it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that much bruising. So maybe that's why she didn't give me it. I'm gonna have to ask her later. But I'm gonna ice them now just because they're a little bit sore now that the numbing is completely gone and everything. I took off my eyelash just because I felt like I looked kind of crazy. I'm gonna hang out and watch some Netflix and hang out and watch some Netflix. <laughs> I said that twice. Um, and just chill. He doesn't recognize me. I'm sorry you didn't. Not. All right guys, so now it's 6, 11 p.m. This is what we're dealing with. It's a Saturday right now and I'm really swell, like I'm so swollen. I don't know if, I think swell means a good thing, so I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm very swollen. What do you think about it? What do you think? You're such a baby. For those of you watching who have been thinking about getting your lips done, I'm not like actually as depressed as I seem right now. I think I'm just like bored and hungry and I don't wanna go and get like ice cream even though I want it. And I also want like soup because I don't feel like cutting up chicken and like sticking it through my lips like, you know, so I'm like, I feel like I'm talking different. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to just like let them rest and heal normally so that they're, so that they like, um, handle. They like don't dissolve or like move too much. I just want them to be like exactly what she planned them for, like planned for them to be. Yeah, I'm expecting tomorrow to be a lot worse, honestly. Are you? No comment. All my roommates are gone right now and my boyfriend's at work. And I'm just like, where's the ice cream? Oh my god, I heard somebody. I guess they're not gone. What in the world? What are you licking like that, bro? Give me Uber Eats. I guess I, I decided in this video that I want to show you the transformation between getting them done and then the healing process because realistically leaving you just like this, you're going to wonder like what happened if you don't actually know me and follow me like that. So I'm going to take this next couple of days and see like the process of it and how my body really just like dissolves the product, whether it heals even, uneven, etc. So I'm just going to put the camera down for the rest of the night and then tomorrow I'm going to update you in the morning when it's supposedly the worst day, show you how we're doing. I'm nervous. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ow, that hurt. Loki, that hurt so bad. Okay, angels, so here we are again, the second day. I was just talking to my boyfriend about it and I kind of feel like today is actually less swollen and slightly more bruising. Sorry, he's like having a sneezing fit in there. I've already said bless you five times. Anyway, I feel like they're definitely more bruised but there's less swelling to me, which is really odd because she said today they'd be way more swollen. I'm still seeing this side is more swollen than this one. You guys can see here's some swelling. It'll be interesting to see how this like heals in the next few days and how it settles and how my body processes the product. To me, it doesn't look very bad. Like, I'm kind of loving it. 
We'll do a check in a little bit later in case it gets a little bit more swollen, but I kind of feel like it's only up from here. Okay guys, so I'm doing one more update today. It's currently 8.13 p.m. And these are how my lips are looking. Definitely a little bit of bruising. Really not much swelling anymore, honestly. The lips seem almost normal to me other than right down here, and I feel like makeup could cover that up. So we'll see in the morning, and I'll show you guys and update you then. Alrighty, angels. So I know I said that I was gonna update you guys the very next morning. It's actually four days after I got my lips done. I know I said that I was gonna update you guys the very next morning, but when I woke up the next morning, I felt like my lips looked pretty much the exact same, except for just like a little bit of bruising. So I wanted to just show you guys like the aftermath and what it would look like when it's pretty much all settled and completely like done. I do have a tiny bit more bruising left. As you guys can see, all the bruising is pretty much underneath my lips and not really on my actual lips. My lips are pretty much settled. My lips really handled this well and I'm pretty much healed. So I just wanted to wait and show you. And then at the very end of this, I'm actually about to go and record a makeup tutorial and then I'll show you guys afterwards what my lips look like with the lipstick on it. So you can kind of see like the difference in sizing before, like then before. I'm really pleasantly surprised. The healing process was so easy and Kitty's awesome. She's been like asking me how it's going and everything. I'm gonna go do my tutorial. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like with lipstick on and then we'll close out. This is what my lips look like with lipstick on and lip liner. I put a little bit of a lighter color in the center so that it makes them look a little bit bigger. I am really, really, really excited. I'm really happy with them. I can't like, it's, I'm so not used to actually having like, I'm so used to overlining my lips but I'm not used to actually having like lips that look like this without overlining them, I guess. But I am so happy. I'm so thankful to Katie and Academic Alliance in Dermatology. I really, really want you guys to go and follow them on their Instagram pages. I'll have it in the description so you guys can just click the link and follow them. I'm going to be working close with them from now on, so I'm really happy and excited to show you guys all that they do for me and that I'm able to do for them as well. So yeah, this is what I officially look like with lips guys i think in like a week they'll be officially settled and i won't feel any more of the ball feeling but i just wanted to show you what it looked like after like the healing process or almost after the healing process i'm so sorry my my camera just died <laughs> but that way you guys can get like a full idea of what they look like with makeup and everything else on like they would on a normal day-to-day -day basis i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you liked it and i hope that if you are thinking about doing this yourself and you guys are in the tampa bay area that you guys consider academic alliance and dermatology you guys can use my code angelina for fifty dollars off which is a huge savings especially if you guys just want to try something small and do like a half a syringe or something like that it's a really good value and it's okay to enhance things that you have on you i think that's just my opinion of it let me know in the comments below what you guys think of them and make sure you guys are following my social media as well and i'll be posting some new deck pictures on instagram because I'm excited. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed, have my post notifications turned on, and give this video a thumbs up for myself and for Katie. I will keep you guys updated, and I'll be honest with you guys with anything that I do from here on out. Um, I always have been. I always will be. Thank you so much, Katie, for giving me more confidence and making me feel even more beautiful in my body. I really appreciate it, and you're the best. Thank you for watching. I love you, angels, and God bless. <laughs>